Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we shall discuss some of the most important misconceptions of the 10th house, which is a very important house in Vedic astrology, like every other house. <laughs> but it's very crucial that we understand certain facets of this house. Otherwise, we will make blunders when we are reading horoscopes or doing consultations. And we cannot help people this way because the 10th house is a very important house in Kaliuga. <laughs> but why? Why is it a very important house in Kaliuga? Because, uh, see, you have to understand, 10th house is an Artha house, which means it gives you money. But what is the difference between the other Artha houses and the 10th house? So which are the other Artha houses? It's the second and the sixth, two, six, ten. So what is the difference between these three? The difference is that second house represents that wealth which, with which you can uh, sustain yourself basically, with which you can uh, eat and maintain your uh, life because second house is food, right? And then sixth house is that work which you do on a daily basis. Okay? It's something like a job. But uh, what is the 10th house? 10th house is... Now, 10th house can be job or business or self-employment. It can be any of it. But then what is the 10th house? 10th house is a managerial responsibility, actually. So, the difference between the 6th and the 10th is, if the 6th house is active, then you may get a job where uh, you are doing things yourself. But if the 10th house is active, you may get a job where uh, you are not doing things yourself, you are making others do. So, it's like... Uh, management positions okay some something like this. you can understand of course it depends on time place circumstances so for example if a person's 10th house is activated uh, when uh, he is around 22 21 when his uh, bachelor's uh, is over so then he may not get a job directly which is uh, managerial because that's uh, generally doesn't happen at that day. generally i'm saying but the, the, the difference is that if the 10th house gets active and the 10th house gives him a job, then he will very soon rise to managerial positions compared to a 22-year-old who gets a job uh, when the 6th house is active. So this is how you differentiate. This is how you distinguish. This is how you uh, understand what it is. Okay, so uh, the first, uh, this, is, this is a very big misconception. People think that uh, 10th house is also uh, 10th house is also job, but uh, what kind of job it is? Okay, so you should be able to tell what kind of a job it is. Okay, you know, it is not just job. And 10th house uh, in general can mean uh, self-employment. I have seen because what happens when you are self-employed? Like you are a consultant, for example. That means that you uh, you are not having any authority about you. You are like your own boss. Okay, so. Uh, Therefore, whenever the 10th house is prominent or the Lagna Lord and the 10th Lord, they are linked, I always suggest people to go for self-employment, okay? Rather than telling them go, go for job or something like this. Now, another misconception is the 10th house is the house of business. Well, uh, it could be business, but it's not necessary that it is business. It can be a job where you have an authority, but you are managing too many people uh, below you. So that can also be the 10th house, okay? Or business, uh, like buying something and selling and packaging it and selling, okay? Raw materials and then you make and send, uh, sell a finished product. That can also come under the 10th house, okay? So uh, it will depend on the horoscope. Is the 10th house uh, indicating self-employment or it is indicating job or it is uh, indicating business, okay? And depends on the age and the time, place, circumstances, actually. Now, another misconception is that our uh, 10th house is the house of life purpose. Well, uh, it is, but it is not only the house of life purpose. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation, you will find my website down in the description section, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of what's going on with your 10th house. So, uh, this misconception is huge that 10th house is the house of life purpose. Okay. Actually, uh, 
it is not a direct misconception, but, but if you say it is the only house of life for us. So if you say somebody has Venus in the tent, the person will go to the streets and keep selling perfumes, okay, to whoever they find, and, oh, here are perfumes, please take it. <laughs> yeah, there are people who say like this. Uh, so people tell me during consultations, but sir, my Venus is in tent, you know, why am I not in Venetian career? So uh, you have to understand that uh, tenth house is a very important house when it comes to your life purpose. But the life purpose is decided from the entire horoscope, not from the 10th house alone or not from where the 10th lot sits. Okay. It doesn't mean that. Another misconception is uh, if the 10th lot is in Adustana, my whole career is ruined. <laughs> this is big actually. Or they say if the 10th lot is in debility, the, the career is ruined. Okay. Nothing like this. They say, if the 10th Lord is conjunct Saturn Rahu Ketu, they say that the career is finished. It's end of career. No, 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 no. Never, ever. Never like, never say this. Another thing they say, if the 10th Lord is, you know, exalted or in a Kendra or a Trikon, you will have the best career. No, that's not true, definitely. Because you have to go deeper at the level of Nakshatras and see what actually is happening. Where, where is the Nakshatra Lord sitting? Okay. And... Um, yeah, so now another thing they say is uh, in the Lagna Lord is in the 10th, uh, they say this is another misconception that uh, the person is a workaholic, will be working all the time. Okay. No, not necessarily workaholic. 10th house is the house of leadership, uh, managerial responsibilities. So the person may take a lot of managerial responsibilities, but uh, it doesn't necessarily make him uh, a workaholic actually. Okay. Uh, now, if if the horoscope is not harmonious, then see extremism in any area is a symptom of a disbalanced horoscope. So, if a person is too much focused on career and uh, ruining his or her family life like this, then the person will not be happy. Never, ever, ever, because dharma, artha, kama, moksha, all all these four have to be balanced. Okay. So, if you are focusing too much on your married life and not focusing on your career then you'll suffer. If you're focusing too much on your you know, career and not focusing on your family or on your health, then also you'll suffer. So a good horoscope is not a workaholic horoscope. A good horoscope is... Uh, now, sometimes you might have to be workaholic because of some deadlines or some projects. That's different. But uh, to say that the Lagnesh is in 10th or sun or moon is in the 10th, so the person is always workaholic, that is not true. That that will happen if the horoscope is imbalanced. Okay, the horoscope has uh, certain challenges and difficulties, and there is there are certain things which the person is externally trying to fill uh, by you know getting more money. It's, it's an indication of inner void actually. Now some people love to work all the time. That is different. But uh, if a person is like you know staying in office eighteen hours a day or working eighteen hours a day, that that is an indication of imbalance actually. That that means some other area he or she is suffering, which they are trying to compensate by uh, getting more money or name fame. Or the person is just working, trying to forget things. You know that 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 also happens. So that is that is another misconception. Uh, another misconception is that uh, suppose your tenth lord of lagna chart is badly placed in a particular divisional chart. Then if you activate the divisional chart, your career will be ruined. So, for example, suppose you are 10th Lord of Lagna chart. So, suppose you are Aries Ascendant and Saturn is your 10th Lord. So, in your Navamsha, if Saturn is debilitated or it is in 6, 8, 12, then they say, the day you get married, your career is ruined. No, it's not like this. Okay, It's a very big misconception. So, suppose in D7, your Saturn, uh, Saturn means the Lagna Lord of your, ten, uh, uh, the, sorry, the 10th Lord of your Lagna chart. Okay, So, if in D7, he's badly placed, then they say that, Oh, you know, uh, the day I had children, the day I will have children, I will have downfall in my career. No, not like this. And the other one is also not true. If your 10th Lord of Lagna chart is exalted in a particular uh, divisional chart, then it doesn't mean the moment you activate that, you know, you will become a millionaire. Okay. It doesn't mean that. Okay. So you must, uh, these are some very vague misconceptions which people have, which destroy the ethos of Jyotish actually. And another misconception is that uh, malefics are uh, malefics are very bad in the tenth, or you know, uh, benefics are benefics are very good in the tenth. 
or sometimes the other one is also true. They say they're better to have malefics in 10th, you know, rather than having benefics. Okay. Now it depends on so many other factors. What is the Lagnesh doing? Uh, do you like malefics or not? The Lagnesh will decide that. You know, do you like benefics more or do you like malefics more? It's very peculiar. How can somebody like malefics more than benefics? Yeah, but there are some people. Like for example, Jupiter is optimism, but Saturn is pessimism. So have you seen some people always pessimistic? Oh, ye nahi hua, wo nahi hua, this didn't happen, that didn't happen. Ye nahi hoga, wo nahi hoga, ye aisa hai, wo aisa hai. 90% of the people in Kali Yuga are in love with malefics. So Jupiter is forgiveness, you know, or Mars is a punishment. So how many times do you see people forgiving each other? No, they don't forgive. People in Kali Yuga just cannot forgive each other. They are always hitting around. They are like punishing. Oh, it's not a shock. It's not a shock. Alright, so it's very weird. How can somebody like, benef like malefics more than benefics, right? So, if you like malefics more, then maybe a malefic in the 10th is better than a benefic in the 10th. Okay? But if you like benefics more, then having a benefic in the 10th is great. So these are some of the misconceptions and uh, another thing they say is uh, the 10th house decides your career actually. Wherever the 10th lord is sitting, it decides your career. No, it doesn't. That is a part that has a very strong say in the career. But what you do at the end will depend on the horoscope and the dashas. Okay? Where, which planets are sitting in 2nd, 6th, 10th, 11th? These planets will decide your career. Where are the lords of these houses sitting? They will decide your career. Where is the Lagna Lord? Where is Sun? Where is Moon? Where is Mercury? Mercury is the Karaka for the 10th house. Okay. So whenever it comes to 10th house, don't forget these three planets. Mercury, Sun and Saturn. Mercury gives you the skill. Saturn gives you the hard work and tenacity and discipline, perseverance, persistence. And uh, sun gives you the final result, name and fame. And Jupiter gives you awards and recognitions. Okay? But Jupiter, you can still keep, keep it aside. At least these three you must check. So without checking these three, do not give some fancy predictions. Okay? Um, and also the Lagna Lord is very important. If you do not check the Lagnesh, then you have missed it. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. And there are many other misconceptions which you can also write down if you know. And if you're new, then please subscribe. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And other videos on 10th house, I'll put it here. Right. See you.